That roast chicken looks amazing. Just looking at it is making me salivate. Sorry, Mila, but you can't have any. I'm sure it's for someone's birthday. How can you tell? Here on the island, it's a tradition to celebrate one's birthday with our special chicken Laurent. The chicken is stuffed with pilaf, which mixes with the chicken's juices, and it's just delicious. Oh, I'm drowning in my own saliva just thinking about it. It must be a very special dish to the people of Laurent. Then you must have eaten this on your birthdays as well. Yeah, a long time ago. Not recently? Well, lately I've been living in Fenmont, and before that, Leia would try to deliver it to me. But she tripped and dropped it for three years straight. Three years straight? What a waste. It, it wasn't on purpose. It's just the more I tried to be careful not to trip, the more I ended up tripping. <laughs> that does sound like something Leia would do. I'm really sorry. I only tried to deliver it because I wanted to see you happy. I know. Every year you were always the person who got the most excited about my birthday. Uh, <laughs> yeah. For my birthday this year, I hope we can all enjoy Chicken Laurent together. I'll ask my dad to make it extra good. I greatly look forward to the occasion. As do I. It can't come soon enough. Please, calm down. We need to deal with this rationally. Mom, what's going on? Jude, there's been a cave-in at the mine. What? But I thought the mine was closed. Not anymore. We thought we'd found a new vein, and we were just beginning to explore it. Was there anyone trapped inside? Well, one of our miners is trapped, and... And your father. Dr. Mathis? Jude, what should we do? We'll save them, of course. We're rounding up people to head to the mine right now. Wait, if you rush in there without knowing what caused the first cave-in, you could get caught in one too. We know it's dangerous, but we owe Dr. Mathis our lives. Which is why he wouldn't want you to waste them on a suicide mission. <sighs> first, we'll go check out what happened. Don't worry, I've been through that entire mine. Jude is right. Let us handle this. Okay. Be careful in there. Quickly, to the Felgana mine! Please let Dad be okay. Dad! Jude, is that you? You've hurt your eyes. It's nothing. I just got some rock dust in them during the cave-in. Never mind me. He needs help. He's unconscious. It looks like he hit his head on a rock.
Don't move him. There's internal bleeding in his brain. Fortunately, the cave-in wasn't too big. Gnome says it won't collapse further. Got it. Leia, head back to the clinic and get ready to receive the patient. What about you? I'm going to treat him using healer. It's dangerous to move him like this. You're going to try and stop cranial bleeding with healer? If you make a mistake, you'll kill him instantly. I know, but I have to do it. Oh, if only I could see properly. It's okay. This is my decision to make. Jude. We'll leave him in Jude's hands. Leia, get to town as soon as you can. On my way. All right, here we go. The miner's condition is stabilized. And it looks like I can see again. Oh, I was really on pins and needles there. The miner said to thank you for saving him. You did well, Jude. Oh, no, I didn't do anything special. You all have things you need to do. You shouldn't be wasting any more time here. Jeez, Doc, don't get all sentimental or anything. I'm afraid we'll be taking Jude with us again. You don't need to ask my permission. He can make his own decisions now. Jude, your judgment was absolutely correct. Dad. Take care. He's changed, hasn't he? Ah, he just learned to do what he should have already been doing. You said the same thing when he first learned how to walk and talk. And you look just as proud then as you do now. Of course. Who wouldn't be proud to see their child grow? What did you lose? It was, um, kind of like a notebook. I gotta go pick it up. Fine, let's go take a look when we get the chance. How is she, Doc? My sister will be able to walk again someday, right? Right? Calm down, Soren. To cut to the point, yes. If Marna has surgery, she'll be able to walk again. Really? All right! The problem is the post-surgical recovery. She will require extensive physical therapy. Will it hurt? Enough to make even a grown-up cry. That's not what I heard. They said you could use some sort of machine to make her walk again. I don't know where you heard that. No such machine exists. Don't worry! I know you can get through it! I was hurt badly when I was a kid, too. But thanks to Dr. Mathis's physical therapy, I'm as good as new! Really? Yep. And don't I look great now, if I do say so myself? If anything, she's got too much energy. Leia told me how hard her physical therapy was. Yeah, that's why she's so happy to help someone else through it. Do you know how Leia got hurt? Not really. She told me it was a Spyrex explosion. The physical therapy really was extraordinarily hard. But Leia never gave up. You know, she told me it was you that... Uh... Hmm? Never mind. That was just... Girl talk. Dr. Mathis may seem like kind of a jerk, but he's a great doctor. Believe in him and work hard. <sighs> Jude, if you're back in town, why not rest here a bit? Your mother will be thrilled. I see. So that's what those kids from this afternoon came here for. So, what are you going to do? Nothing. I disposed of them in the old Vicol mine. I won't ever let that tragedy happen again. It's not your fault, Doc. After all, you saved her life. 
At the old call mine, huh? You need help with anything? It's nothing. Is something wrong? We haven't seen Soren all day. He's not one to leave his sister's side. Maybe we should look for him. Wait a minute. Do you know where he is? Last night he said something about the old Vakal mine. What? That place is infested with monsters! Are you sure that's where he went? No, I'm not. But we can't ignore the possibility that he did. We gotta get to the old Bacall mine! We sure are good. Don't you feel like we've mastered combat at this point? I must say, I had no idea that the human body was capable of so much. Yeah! At this rate, I could probably hold my own against my mom in a fist fight! Yeah, but if she had her staff... Oh, I'd be dead within seconds. Surely that's an exaggeration. Is your mom really that strong? I wouldn't say strong so much as... invincible. She could probably take down ten average fighters in a single second. This reminds me of the rumor about a demon who walks the earth in Lorand. They say about ten years ago, the demon wiped out a group of bandits that was giving even the army trouble. Yeah, that was my mom. The bandits gave her some lip one day while she was out shopping. Wow, your mom's amazing! No kidding. I guess we still have a long way to go. Human potential runs so deep.
think we can eat those mushrooms? No. No, we can't. must be the machines Dr. Mathis was hiding. Marna will be walking in no time with this. Wait, those are Spyrex. Soren, get away from those! Huh? But I need these. I said get away! It's dangerous! No way! I'm impressed you could anticipate that. I just remembered my old accident. That was how I got hurt when I was a kid. I was playing with the Spyrex in the docks room when it blew up, like that one did just now. That was how you got injured? Why did Dad have something so dangerous? Oh no. No way. It's not my place to tell you. You'll have to ask Derek yourself. You're the one who hid those Spyrexes in the old Vakal mine, aren't you? Why did you have them in the first place? Because I'm not from here. I came to Riza Maxia from Olympias 20 years ago. Derek was a passenger on the Zenithra, just like I was. After wandering throughout this world, I decided to settle down here after I met your mother. Then that would make me... Half Riza Maxian and half Olympian. You must be pretty shocked, huh? Actually, not really. Hmm. Huh. Didn't see that reaction coming. Is a medical Asperixis just a Spyrex, then? They're similar, yet very different. Asperixis are modified to channel the mana produced by one's mana lobe. They don't kill spirits, but as you know, there's a separate price to pay. Having to endure the physical pain. I only learned that Spyrexes kill spirits after I came to Riza Maxia. Once I knew the truth, I could no longer use Spyrexes in good conscience. But Dad, we found another option. If you create a Spyrite, you don't have to worry about Spyrexes killing spirits anymore. A Spyrite? I see. If Spyrites become commonplace, the downside of Spyrexes goes away. But for that to happen, Riza Maxia and Olympias will need to find common ground and work together. That will take a great deal of time and effort. 
Neither the pain of physical therapy nor the effort required for mutual understanding are easy to endure. There is always a cost required of any major undertaking. That much is true, no matter which world you're from. Yeah. I want to try physical therapy. I don't want Sorin running off and getting himself hurt because of me. That's great! Sorin, make sure to support her, okay? I know. Don't worry. I've got this. Leia, I'm so sorry. If I had only stored the Spyrex properly, you would never have been hurt. It's fine, really. If I hadn't gotten hurt, I would have never gotten to know Jude. Certainly not well enough to fill a hundred pages of notes about him. Mila! What are you talking about? Nothing! Never mind. That was just... girl talk. Guess I better do something with Mom's house. And while I'm at it, I should see Isla, too. Hey! The Wyverns are back! These are the same ones that we flew on, right? They certainly look the same to me, but I suppose they all do. Ah, oh, save me! Get off! I'm sure of it. These are the same wyverns. They must have come back on their own. I believe they call this the homing instinct. Thank goodness they're okay. Indeed. After all, they too have served as loyal companions on our journey. Stop reminiscing and help me! This is where your mother lived, isn't it? Yeah. You're back? Hey, Isla. I got your letter. So... Mom's dead. buried her that that's right I'm so sorry when I got here she had already departed mom why did you do this I'm sorry I'm okay there's actually a part of me that's kind of relieved now gonna scold me for that a human life is a heavy thing. If you were carrying your mother's burden for her, it's only natural that you'd feel that way. <laughs> Never thought you'd be the one to console me. All right, enough of this. Isla, how did she really die? What? If you mean the cause of death, it was a sudden paroxysm of... You don't think it was the poison? Because my mother knew that you were mixing it into her food. What? Remember how she'd have those lucid moments? She told me about the poison in a letter. She lied! If she knew about it, why did she eat? Don't strain yourself. You never were a good liar. It's... it's you and that group of yours' fault for trapping me here! Wait, stop!
Isla went to the royal hunting grounds. Damn it. After her! Why did you poison Alvin's mother? <sighs> because she was holding her back. So long as Mom was alive, Isla could never get her happy ending. Exactly. I don't want anything more to do with Exodus. All I want to do is live a normal, happy life. I worked so hard just to be able to do that. Did my mother suffer? Good. That's the one thing I was worried about. You're going to let her go? She killed your mother! Mom knew she wasn't long for this world. She told me so in her last letter. She asked me to set Isla free after she died. She knew? And she still... Yep. Even though it meant she'd never return to the home she loved so much. I... I don't believe you. You're just going to blackmail me again. I have to destroy all the evidence. I have to erase my former self. Or else I'll never be truly happy. Wait. Isla, stop. Uh, ah! Isla! How is she doing? Thanks to your first aid, her injuries have healed up nicely. But... Mommy... Why are you leaving me? Please don't sell me. I promise I won't complain about being hungry. Please! Mommy! How could this happen? Don't worry, Isla. I'm here. I'll always be here for you, whether you get better or not. Isla is lucky to have you. But it's so sad. Are you sure it's okay for us to stay here? I don't mind. She'll be safe here. They don't know about this place, but I'm taking the gun belt with me. It's been in my family for a long time. I promised my mom I'd take it home with me. Then I hope you find your way back home. It's the least I can do for her. She was a great mom. Shandu, do you remember anything? When you ask it like that, it's way too much pressure. Don't feel like you need to force it, Elise. Hey, didn't Wingull use a booster too? Maybe he has some connection to Tipo. That's possible, although his booster seems to be a different type. Do you know anything about him, Elise? Only that Wingle scares me. Wait a minute. I think I know him. You do? I've got it! Wingle was in the laboratory. He was? I don't remember him being there. He used to be way thinner. He was the guy who was always in pain from the prototype side effects or something. You mean test subject number one? Sounds like we're getting somewhere. Wingle must have volunteered to be a booster test subject. 
The people at the laboratory said they could have never made Chipo without him. Could that mean that Wingull is... My father? Wingull said that the experiments had been humane. But can we really trust him? If nothing else, at least we know the experiments had a purpose beyond mere cruelty. Um... What is it? Do you think we could go back to the Booster Research Lab? You mean go back to Labari Hollow? Why would you want to go there? Oh, of course! If that's where you grew up, you might remember something about your past. I'm sorry. I know we don't have much time. No trouble at all. Besides, maybe you'll remember something that inspires you to new heights. That's certainly a possibility. Let's try to get back to Labari Hollow. You're the geographer who was studying spirit climb changes. That's right. And I think that hypothesis I told you about just might be correct. They say the soldiers that came from the flying ships broke through a wall in the sky to get here. Think about that. A wall that surrounds our entire world. That kind of power could easily affect spirit climbs. The schism. The schism? Ooh, I like that name. Okay. Let's refer to this wall as the schism. The next problem is, where did the schism come from? The questions never end. But that's why I love science. Yeah. This is the site of the laboratory where you grew up, isn't it? Maybe you can remember something about your family. I... I can't. I have lots of memories of Tipo, but nothing else. Looks like this was a big bat waste of time. Well, I certainly wouldn't say that. I love the way the wind feels here when it's blowing through my beard. Wait, didn't Rowan's beard remind you of your father? Hey, maybe that means your dad had a beard, too. Do you remember what it was like? He gave Elise a piggyback ride here. That's right. I remember his beard swinging in the wind. He was really big. And he had a hat with lots of feathers and a big fluffy coat. Are you sure that's not Zhao? Uh you're right. The man with the beard wasn't my father. It was Zhao. He put me up on his shoulders and told me the truth. That my mother and father had gone off somewhere very far away. He apologized over and over as he told me. But I didn't understand why. I just remember watching as his tears fell into his beard. Hey, it's okay. You can stop. I don't remember anything about my mother or father at all. I'm sorry. I thought you'd be happy if you could remember more of your past. I should have realized some memories should just stay forgotten. I'm so sorry, Elise. Ah, there you are. Some friends of mine said they saw you down here. I've been looking for you. What is it? I have a message from Isla. She remembered where Elise is from. There's a place just through a cave in the Mon Highlands. Isla says the house where you were born is there. So Isla is all better? No. It's just something she said during her delirium. She says the same things over and over. Then you've learned of her past. I know she can never make amends for what she did. But do you think you can forgive her? All she can do at this point is apologize. Your forgiveness would mean a lot. Elise, please tell Isla that I said thank you. 
I certainly will. Okay, let's go. I want to see the place where I was born. A house in the southeast part of the Mon Highlands. That's where you were born! Hey! Relax! Elise, help me! This should be the place Jurgen told us about. But I don't see a house anywhere. It's been ten years. It could easily have fallen apart by now. Let's try looking around a little bit more. No. This is it. This is where my house used to be. You sure? Elise's flowers! These were in our garden, so your house really was here. It's okay. Thank you, everyone. I feel a lot better now. Tipo, you said these were Elise's flowers? That's what they called them. Couldn't tell you why, though. Jude, what are these flowers really called? Are they native to this area? They look like princessias. Normally, you don't see them in a place like this. Our parents must have planted them back when they still lived here. And don't all flowers have some hidden meaning behind them? Yeah. I can't really help you with these, though. They mean priceless treasure and a long and happy life. This may be a stretch, but these flowers may represent what your parents thought of you, Elise. At least, that's what I'd like to believe. Mother. Father. I'm impressed that you put that together. You shouldn't be. After all, you were the ones who taught me what it means to be human. <laughs> 